Hello, welcome back to the James Ramblin Reviews for yet another episode, and in today's episode, I'm actually going to be reviewing Long Legs, as I did actually tease this in a community tab post I did earlier today, and I will link that down below. So this review, we're not going to be talking about the fourth Shrek movie, I might save that for later on, in another day or so, or another few days, don't know when, I'll think about that. But, so before we get into kind of my thoughts on Long Legs, I'll give you like a context and stuff like that and I'm not actually going to be spoiling this movie because I want you to go in as blind as possible. So some of the stuff I'm going to mention about how I get my point across it might kind of feel a bit vague but just bearing in mind that I don't want to ruin this entire kind of movie for you. So before we get into that kind of stuff, so the context I've got is that this is actually meant to be a horror movie. It also stars Nick Cage, Nicholas Cage. Whatever you want to call this guy. So Nicolas Cage is this kind of guy where when he was back in the 90s and the 2000s, he was at the peak of his career where he was such a fun character, fun persona to see on screen and he just knew he had a fun time. So cheesy, all those cheesy action movies like you've got The Rock, you've got Face Off and Con Air. Like that should be a trilogy of Nicolas Cage movies just to rewatch on their own because I absolutely did rewatch those movies recently because just getting into that Nicolas Cage mood with something like Long Legs reminded me, okay, Nicolas Cage had these really good movies back in the day. It's like, yeah, he made some pretty awesome movies. And you had st- stuff like Unbearable Weight and Massive Talent with Pedro Pascal and him and how Nicolas Cage is reliving his career. He gets a bit of nostalgia, but he also has a lot of fun with Pedro Pascal. That was a good one. And you had some real, real trash where you had stuff like The Old Way, where Nicolas Cage tries to do like this whole Western movie, and that was just weird. And he's had these ups and downs in his career. But So that's what I would say about Nicolas Cage is that when it comes to him, especially, I really do love some of the stuff he does and some of the movies he's been in, and other movies like, oh, that was terrible. And then horror movies as a whole for me, it's been an interesting one for me personally because when I was growing up, I wasn't somebody who was like, you know what, horror is some of the best content ever. Like, I think I was too young to watch some of the most classic horror movies and it took me like a few years, ages, maybe 10 years to watch The Shining and stuff like that. And there's that and there's been a few horror movies in the past few years where I've actually enjoyed them. But it's not like I am someone who's like, you know what, I'm going to watch five horror movies in one week or something. I'm not someone who's like that. So when you put that all together... When it comes to long legs, it's certainly an interesting one because you're wondering, wow, what do you think about the movie, James? So, I'm not going to spoil the plot, like I said. I'll just vaguely mention this, that this movie is a horror movie, has Nicolas Cage, and it's being praised and it's being called, like, the best horror movie since sliced bread. The best horror movie that will save cancer, that will save COVID, it will destroy everything, it will destroy everything evil in the world, it will save world hunger. This is what the movie is felt like that, like this exaggeration, like this movie is so awesome and it's just annoying when people exaggerate this on social media and online and the critics of these movies, it's just so annoying to see. So there's that and you've, you've definitely got that. So how do I actually feel about this movie? So there's like 12 million ways in which I can actually get into this movie Because I absolutely hated the hell out of this one because man oh man oh man, right? So a couple days ago, went to see this movie in the cinemas, give give myself some time to think about the film, seen it with my mum, right, it was like a Thursday night showing kind of thing and we were just sitting there waiting for the credits to roll, waiting for the whole movie to start kind of thing, waiting for the ads to finish and then as you see it, you see other people coming into the theatres, they start sitting down and you're wondering, oh, it's the most overhyped movie, or is it the best movie of all time? So then, once I started watching this movie, right, I would say that the first, like, 25 minutes, maybe less, maybe half an hour, is where the movie is interesting, and introduces this concept, and it's set in this kind of certain location, it's like, okay, this could actually be kind of interesting, and one thing I was like, you know, this could, that, what if this isn't scary, And for a lot of this movie, I had this feeling that there was, like, no stakes to anything that was going on in this film. Like, I never felt a point where it was scary whatsoever. Like, people have been saying that Nicolas Cage's performance is, like, it just is so awesome. It's, like, the peak of his career. And I'm just like, no, it's not, bro. Like, there is so many. I just just explained, like, a few other films where Nicolas Cage is on top of his career, 
like all those good movies, but he's just like kind of there, and it's like, you know what? It's just Nicolas Cage. We know how crazy he's going to get, and it's just obvious that at a certain point in this movie, it's like, yeah, we know what's going to happen next, and a lot of people are calling this an original masterpiece with a unique concept, but it's literally inspired by a movie called Silence of the Lambs, which is pretty much you're just feeding off a familiar concept already, so there's no real reason as to why you want to call this the original film or whatever these people are saying. And another thing about this movie is that it just goes on for way too long for me, and there's a point where it just says it's in parts, and I, I get it, right? There's these people that, like, we want to have these cool aesthetics and these cool images and these cool things and all like that, but it's like... We already know that a movie has a beginning, middle, and end, so it's kind of strange that you would just pause to say part one, pause to say part two, pause to say part three. It's like, yeah, I know that. I don't need to know that. You know what I mean? It's annoying when some of that stuff happens. Like, there's points in some stuff. Like, I would say that this whole thing about the parts thing equates more to something like akin towards a TV show where it's split into parts. It's episodic. Not every movie has to be split into parts. It could just be one whole storyline that goes on for an hour and a half, goes on for two hours and a half, but this movie definitely felt like four, four and a half hours, maybe more. Like, I was actually annoyed at the pacing of this movie. The acting was just bland, and it was kind of cringy at times, just seeing these actors kind of just walk around awkwardly. It's like there's nothing really happening. They're like, And there's this one character in the movie that just keeps heavily breathing, like... <sighs> And I'm just reaching for my popcorn at this point. I was like, okay, just eating my popcorn. At the, I was just so bored in this movie. I was like, just going to reach for the popcorn. Just going to reach for the Maltesers. Mum reaches over. I was like, James, stop it. You're making a noise here. I was like, no, I want to eat the Maltesers because I'm just so bored right now. And that's what I felt like. This movie, so bored, so bored in this movie. And so I would, I'm kind of, I don't want to drag this out or anything. But there's so much to unpack with how I felt about this movie, even if I'm giving a vague synopsis on the movie. So that's how I'd feel about it. It's like a 5 out of 10 for me. And I did record this one time. Like, my first attempt at this was okay. And then it, towards the end of the review, I randomly say another... Like, I didn't even mention the real title of the movie. I went, like, Pool Man. Because Pool Man was the last movie where I absolutely hated that as well. So there's that. And so that's my review. I hope you enjoyed and you hope you kind of enjoyed my take on this movie. It's a different kind of review because it's been ages since I reviewed a horror thriller movie, if you want to call it that. It wasn't even really that scary, to be honest. So that's my review. Stay tuned for more. Hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Listen to us on Spotify and stuff like that. So yeah, bye. See you next week. See you next time. Whenever it will be. Bye, 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 bye.